It is the 15th of August, uh, 2019. Uh, Wookiee Speed Stand Up. And uh, take it away, Lauren. Kiss Lauren. So, uh, what I did this week, this past week, is oh, yeah, Lauren Salter, Gabriel Island, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, what I did the past week was I copied some uh code uh to light blink lights because i i was kind of busy with uh family and stuff but I, uh, so i had to i didn't have good access to my computer but i had the tablet so i got a editor software and uh uh i entered the first blinky program and i modified it a bit i haven't i haven't tried it yet though uh, so i did that and uh and then I, I, like I said, I decided, but I haven't actually gotten yet. Uh, I want to uh, have a uh, CPU uh, temperature, and uh, it, it's like CPU monitor gives you a bunch of stuff about the CPU. But I thought that would be cool and actually a good idea for the uh, uh, Pi. So that's what I can think of that I did right now and uh coming week uh hopefully i'll get the pi a uh, zoom onto the pi and the heat monitoring software onto the pi and i'm ready to order because i i've got my programs uh i want to order the breadboard and stuff but in the meanwhile i think i'll just look at your yeah so also for the coming week look at your uh code and your videos uh and uh carry uh pull out, clear off my desk and pull out the uh, RC car and try and proceed a little more on that. And uh, blocks, uh, hmm, things that could help with. I guess, so I'm, uh, uh, I, I, I'm a little uncomfortable doing the probing and everything with my uh, thing, but I'll, I'll try it. And so, but I may hit a block and ask for help on uh, just uh, uh, playing with the uh, uh, car, the RC car. And I think I'm going to get the Pi Cobbler because it looks like it makes it a lot easier. Uh, now I kind of understand when you when you were taking ribbons in terms of the buying the jumpers, you get them in these ribbons of jumpers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now I kind of understand that. And I do have a question. I have a couple of questions about that that I'll ask in Crosstalk. That's it for me. Okay. It's uh, Michael Ultrick in Saskatoon, Canada. Um, I got very little done this week. Um, I even forgot to upload the video from last week, so I still have it to upload. I'll just upload both of them today. Um, and I had two new people install or added to the uh, Google group, two new members. And that's pretty much what I got done this week. Uh, next week is the same as uh, as my list for uh, last week was. Um, upload some source code, uh, take a little bit of video on uh, on working with the uh, Raspberry Pi and serial, and connect up the infrared diodes and detectors. Um, I don't know if I'll get that done, but uh, I'll try. And uh, blocks, nothing that you can probably help with. So back to you, Lauren. Okay, so for me, I'm going to give myself a an eight because I actually did uh, work on the code, and I I booted up the Pi today. It was first time since last week uh, for this, uh, and I'm going to give the team a. Uh, eight also and in terms of process improvement not nothing real i'll talk in the cross top but uh i i do think uh i think this it's exciting what we're doing and uh i, I it's interesting like even though i am not pretty lame with electronics i'm feeling pretty uh motivated like i got the pie it was supposed to be fussy and difficult to get it going and uh, so I'm showing it to everybody. People are surprised, and people who've had earlier iterations of Pi are 
uh, surprised that, that I feel, you know, that it's uh, went so smoothly for me. So I think maybe we're at the right point in the pie evolution that uh, uh, it, 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 it's something that will, will be catchy. So that's my uh, not process improvement or sort of non-process improvement. Okay. Um, I'm going to give myself, I think it was a 2.6 because uh, I'm really not getting very much done. Um, the team, I'll go eight because you are getting some progress done and we've, we've got some stuff happening. Um, and I don't have a process improvement. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that when we get something uh, actually working and, and post a couple of videos that uh, we'll get a little bit more participation. Um, so that brings us to Crosstalk. You said you had a couple things? Absolutely, yes, yes. Uh, let me see. So it's just in terms of the, uh, am I correct? When are, are you using some kind of ribbon thing? Uh, are you individually pushing the pins into the, into the, uh, uh, Header? pie headers of 40 headers yeah or are you uh, do you have a preset like the cobbler i uh, know i'm putting one at a time into yeah. the uh into the header it just happens yeah. that the three pins that we're interested in are adjacent to each other yeah okay all right yeah okay so uh, what do you think like the cobbler costs about 15 bucks assembled uh, i'd say uh I'd say go for it. Um, it is a little bit fiddly, and now that the cables are new, um, they they stick pretty well. Um, after they've been inserted and removed a few hundred times, uh, things are going to get <laughs> looser, and they will yeah. right. be, start to be. Uh, oh well, I wonder if it's getting getting making good contact. I, I, I better check. Right, you know? right. No, I I'm I'm always leery of what my my son and I call the Nintendo problem because the original Nintendo cartridges would you know after you'd put them in a, a few times they 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 would get difficult to that friction fit would get looser and looser mm -hmm. did you not learn how to solder those suckers <laughs> no <laughs> uh what what was happening is you were wearing off uh, a little bit of the uh card edge right and, uh if you uh uh, heated it up and put a little bit of solder onto. I think there was four of the pins, especially that were that were issues. Really? Uh, power, wow. Uh, two power and two ground, if I recall. Um, <laughs> you would uh, extend the life of the cartridge and make it so that the jiggles didn't uh, reset your game halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a that's a really broad kind of thing because, like on the Pi, I don't want to keep unplugging and plugging the uh, HDMI or the uh, USBs? Um, it will take hundreds and hundreds of, of yeah. insertions on the USB uh, kind of thing. Um, yeah, because they're pretty Everything, everything pretty wears big. out eventually, right? Yeah. But uh, if you're prototyping and you get it to a point where you've got it working, you kind of you kind of leave that one and then you buy another one to do the next prototype. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a that, that begs a question. So uh, with with the lid that we've got, uh, are we going to end up like making a hole through the lid, or how do we uh, how do we do the you know when we mount it on the our LRW? Uh, so do we just leave the the cat the the lid off of that case? The case is cool because it it allows there's like a bunch of ways it, it's only attached to the bottom flat thing right and then mm -hmm. there's the sides and then there's the top so that's really cool it it makes gives it makes it very accessible but say uh you've finished everything um are there holes i it looks like there's quite a few holes in it so it looks like you could run things through the holes um i i hadn't really thought of it um let me just go walk over and look at it Oh yeah, there's there's holes in the top. Uh, you could actually drill a couple of holes above the pins yeah. that you're interested in. Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't know if you'd use that whole uh, that whole ribbon kit that you're getting. I think you might 
uh, buy a smaller portion of the uh, of a ribbon cable and just plug it into the parts that you're interested in. Yeah, yeah, and, no, it makes uh, sense not to have a big heavy thing hanging off it. That's more for prototyping and practice. Um, yeah, I think you, you still need some way to, to protect it. You still need some way to uh, have it kind of bolted down. So um, yeah. a, a modified case is probably the way to go. I mean, you might, you might want to 3D print it so that it doesn't look as pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, mind you, I think it was only 12 bucks or something, so it wasn't, it wasn't that expensive anyway. I, I think that was part of the uh, reason that it, it went together so well and, it, and it's running is because oh. we got all the parts as part of the kit. And the heat sinks, like, it, it, it sounds like they, it's from bitter experience that they knew to put the heat sinks in. Um, most, most things are learned that way, um, especially <laughs> when they're putting together kits. I mean, this isn't the first kit to sell, right? <laughs> yeah, but, but it's, it's, a, it's a nice kit. It had, you know, I, at first I thought, oh, I've got HDMIs already, but I, I ended up, this stimulated me. Here's another crosstalk. So I, ha I have an Asus laptop from 2000, I bought in 2013. An i7, like I, I went for the most advanced at the time. Mm -hmm. And I bought an Asus monitor at the time, HDMI. I've never been able to get the HDMI to work because I never had time to fiddle with the monitor and find the little button that changes the input from VGA to HDMI. So now I got HDMI working everywhere. And now I got a shortage of HDMI cables. So I'm really happy that the kit included the cable. Um, it's, it's just, the cable isn't that expensive as part of the kit and it's, it's handy to have it all there, right? Yep. Yeah. So, so I, anyways, I was, I'm happy with that kit. Um, I'm actually, uh, interested in the difference, what the, the Pi 4 is when it's uh, maybe uh, let another release come out or whatever, but. Uh, all, I, I've actually heard the Pi 4 is probably okay uh, with I, these uh, glitches that they've think, had. I don't think you're going to find a whole lot, like for what we're doing, I don't know if it's going to be a whole lot of difference. No, no, I'm or, thinking of uh, a uh, hanging it off my uh, monitor rather than have a big tower under my monitor. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, so it's I, probably going to be, probably going to do well for you there. Like for what we're using, uh, this stuff for we could probably use the zero. Um, yeah. The thing is, uh, the zero doesn't have quite as many pins, and it's gonna run out of horsepower if we ask it to do video or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, whereas the three B plus will will run out of horsepower later, and the yeah. four probably wouldn't run out of horsepower. Yeah. Yeah. So then uh, that is another thing. If you want to keep crosstalk, or let me know if you want to go. Uh, so the um, what do you think about GPS and what and uh, is there a GPS kit or what's the deal with GPS for the uh, Pi? Does it have it already? Uh, not that I know of. Uh, the GPS is a transceiver kit. Yeah, I know you can get them for the Arduino, so I'm assuming that you can get something yeah. similar for the Pi. Yeah. Um, I think it's actually a serial interface. Uh, okay. Either uh, either SPI or uh, just regular serial. Um, are you familiar with SPI? Nope. Uh, three three pin uh, serial peripheral interface. It's it's kind of meant for connecting chips together. C and C you, uh, P as SPI. in Peter. Yeah, CPI. Serial serial SPI. peripheral interface. SPI. Okay, got it. Spy. Um, spy. And then uh, there's just three wires that go between, and normally they're not very long. It communicates okay. uh, up to 115K, I think. Anyway, um, the master pulls and the uh, slaves respond. And you, the master says which one it wants to talk to. If there's only one, then it's not too hard. But you can have like a real time clock chip, and you can have, uh, you know, RAM, uh, non volatile RAM, kind of like um, for settings and stuff like that. It's much. Much more right in the ecosystem. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna the pie, for a minute, the pie doesn't but, really need it though. 
Oh, like the, the pie doesn't really need external EEPROM and, and external clock chips and stuff like that because it has so much on it. Um, all it, it, I mean, it, it would connect to the GPS that way. The GPSs are like 18, 20 bucks kind of thing. It's, uh, they, they, the prices have really come down since they've been included in every uh, phone ever made, or every, every smartphone ever made. Lauren, uh, hopefully you're not talking because you're muted. Hey, uh, I got a I got a request for something here, so I'm gonna uh, go in a minute. But uh, so yeah, okay, we'll talk more about the GPS uh, for our app. I'm thinking the GPS is uh, kind of a next step. It gets you in the general vicinity, but it doesn't get you that close, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. No, I'm not thinking of it, but I'm I'm thinking it as a secondary kind of a quality, such as follow me. What, what I was thinking was you could say, uh, "Take me home," and you could follow the the LRW. Oh yeah, or uh, you could tell it to you know this is a waypoint and uh, yep. have it have it reproduce the uh, reproduce the the trail that you went through or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, good talking. Okay, we will talk to you next week. Okay, bye now. Bye-bye. Get over to the laptop.